This example is about maximizing the area of a given geometric shape. A computer is programmed to display a slowly changing right triangle with its hypotenuse always equal to 12.0 centimeters. What are the legs of the triangle when it has a maximum area? We can begin by drawing a sketch, labeling our sketch so we know what we're attempting to do. We can call our sides A, B, or our legs. It's a right triangle and the hypotenuse is constant at 12.0. We need a primary equation, which is the equation of the thing we want to minimize or maximize. <clears throat> In this case, we want to maximize the area. So our equation is going to be 1 half the base times the height, or in this case, B times A, or half AB. We need a secondary equation now to replace one of our two variables. Since we have a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem, or 12 squared equals a squared plus b squared. And we choose one of the variables to solve for. It doesn't matter which one. If we solve for a, we get the square root of 12 squared is 144 minus b squared. We know A, we bring it over here, we plug it in. So the area becomes a half 144 minus B squared and we'll write to the power of a half to make the derivative a little easier times B. Of course, because this has an exponent, we can't bring in the b to make the differentiation any easier, so we have to use the product rule. So the derivative becomes 1 quarter 144 minus b squared to the power of negative a half times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 2b times b, product rule, derivative of the first, keep the second, plus we'll keep the first, which is a half 144 minus b squared, and derivative of the second is 1. So, we're going to set the derivative equal to 0 to find the maximum value for b, or sorry, the value of b that maximizes the area. Uh, looks again like most of these questions, like there's a lot of algebra. Because we have a negative exponent, it's going to be a denominator, and in most cases it ends up canceling. Here we can do a little simplification. The 1 quarter and the 2 reduce this to a half. This is negative, so we're actually going to move it to the left and try to save ourselves some work here. So it becomes b squared, positive because it's on the left now, over the quarter and the two give us a half, and then we have 144 minus b squared to the power of a half which we put in the denominator. That's this part, a little simplified and moved to the left, equal to 144 minus b squared. Don't forget this is to the half. Over two. Now, we're not seeing the cancellation that we have in previous problems, but cross multiplying here, we can cancel the twos. We end up with b squared equal to, since these brackets are the same, power of a half, a half plus one gives us one, so that is simply 144 minus b squared. 
So we got rid of the roots, which did make this easier. Bring over b squared, we end up with 2b squared equals 144, which is b squared equals 144 over 2, so 72. And b equals square root of 72, which simplified is 6 root 2. So there's the b value that gives us the maximum area. It asks for the legs of the triangle, so we need a and b. We know a from this equation, so a is equal to the square root of 144 minus b squared. a is equal to the square root of 144 minus b squared, which is 72, which is the square root of 72, which is, as we see right here, 6 root 2. So the maximum area comes from having a equal to 6 root 2 and b equal to 6 root 2.